Turning for home, it's Dot Matrix in front. Marzo now sprints. Bema's boy, Zumarudi finds some room as well. It's still Dot Matrix on the front end, finding more. Du Marzo up on the outside. Bema's boy now unleashes a rally. Dot Matrix continues to find. Late run, Zumarudi. Bema's boy, Dot Matrix. Bema's boy, late push. Dot Matrix wins the John B. Connolly Turf Cup. Great at stakes time on the turf at Sam Houston. The Connolly stakes a mile and a half. Marathon distance for these older males, and uh, I don't think it's hyperbole as I'm joined by Sam Houston handicapper Jessica Paquette to say at least half this field looks like they're in with the chance, Jessica. I think you could make a legitimate case for at least half of these. Um, when I'm handicapping a big race, I kind of go horse by horse and just make like quick notes and like first impressions. There are a few that just have a no in my notes, but there are only a few. Only a few for sure. And uh, anytime I go through a race and feel like, all right, this one has a shot, this one has a shot and get up to a few or more than a few in this case, I'm always going to go against the favorite. There's just no reason to, to take the chalk if you think five or six have a legitimate chance. And I didn't reach too far beyond the chalk, but uh, I do like tenfold in here. Uh, got its turf debut last out. And I like the fact that all along, uh, the connection seemed to think distance is what this one wants, and uh, he gets it here at a mile and a half. And I thought I was being really clever, picking tenfold <laughs> as well. He's one of those horses that over the past couple of years, I just keep thinking he has a major race in him. Every race, like I've, I've gotten sucked in and picked this horse more times than I care to admit. But, <laughs> you know, if you had asked me a year ago if it was going to be a mile, uh, you know, a mile and a half on the turf, I may not have saw that but with his pedigree it makes sense i thought that turf effort last time out was actually pretty good and clearly no issues with stamina so maybe tenfold he owes me a couple maybe this will be the one yeah and uh six to one i think so about the right price if uh you and i uh dr bring him down uh and I, <laughs> I might have to uh think again because i don't want much shorter than that and i i actually picked him in the preakness so i, I do too He's always attracted me, and uh, I have uh, motion to motion who I had in the Oaks and the Ladies Classic, so now I'm going with an old Preakness pick. I like what the barn's sending out here. I think Henley's Joy, uh, who actually won uh, the uh, the Belmont Derby for Mike Maker, who has a couple in here and is now with Asmussen, uh, has a look, too. It may be a bigger price even than tenfold. Anyone else catch your eye in the double digits? Tough to revenge. I kind of thought it's interesting. I don't know if you're going to get quite that, that big of a price on him. I think if he shakes loose early, he looks like the kind that gets really bold on the front end. And sometimes these long distance turf races, you don't think a horse can go gate to wire, but if no one goes with him, if everyone's trying to, um, you know, think someone else is going to go with him and he just right. gets loose, he might be, he might be tough. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, some might see the, the distance uh, yeah, as worst effort at recently and say, well, he certainly doesn't want to go this far then, but when they're alone, it's a totally different game. So sure. I, with you and it'll make it a fun watch for sure we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the morning line favorite spooky channel uh certainly not dismissing him because i think he can't win uh but again at five to two when i think there's uh so many other opportunities just doesn't seem like worth a bet to me and it's also worth noting mike maker has won this race seven of the last runnings he has three horses in this race all of them look like they have pretty legitimate shots <laughs> i kind of i really like marzo actually he was third last year in this okay. race so you know he likes this turf course so i, I wouldn't overlook anything from the maker barn here no, and uh, that's usually uh, good advice wherever makers send me. Right. Uh, as a turfway handicapper myself, sometimes I've learned the hard way, but this is a really compelling race. It's the ninth of 10, uh, part of the uh, the pick five, pick six, all 12% takeout. And uh, it sounds like you and I are on the same horse, so let's go tenfold. Good luck.